you know, technology itself isn't that dangerous. It's actually the people that you encounter. So for, you know, the, the, the dialogue that we use is tricky people. So they're people online that are online criminals that are probably trying to scam you or hack into your systems to collect your data to either sell it or gain some sort of benefit from. And tricky people will often try to ask questions or set things up in a way to fool you online. And we need to have, I guess, some skills around uh, identifying that. We also have strangers, and these are people that we've never met before in the offline world. And the stranger danger conversation is familiar to them, but I guess helping them understand there's a difference between recognizing a stranger offline versus recognizing a stranger online, because it's right now, and even more so with deep fakes, for example, and you know all sorts of audio synthesizing tools to change voices and things. It's not, it's basically 100%, it's not 100% possible to verify somebody in the online world as being real and who they truly are, who they say they are. So depending at what age group, when we talk about strangers as well, we can start having that conversation about people who are much older, potentially pretending to be somebody else to gain images and pictures of you and those sorts of things as well. And then I think the third reason why it's unsafe for kids and adults is unkind people. It's really easy for people to be um, keyboard cowards and say things from behind a screen compared to what they would in a face-to-face -face environment. So. When we go online, we're more likely to be exposed to negative comments, trolling, or even unkind behavior because either it can be someone you know, but it can also just be a fake account that you don't even, you cannot even work out who this is. Mm -hmm. um, so they're sort of the three whys. And I think that those people are really what make it unsafe for everybody online.